Back to school is always an exciting time, right? Mm, maybe only for some of us. Maybe you're about to return to nursing school after a long break or some time off, but you feel stuck, unmotivated, or simply not sure how to get yourself back into student mode. Well, today's video offers some valuable back to school tips for nursing students who may be feeling a bit rusty and dusty. Stay locked in. Hi everyone, my name is Professor Just B and this is LJ. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, this channel was created to support nursing and healthcare students just like you. As a nursing professor and educator, I offer tips and expert advice that will help you succeed in school and in your new career. If this is something that you're interested in, show me some love and support. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on weekly videos. Returning to nursing school after a long break comes with a mix of emotions. Even for me as a professor, anytime I was returning to the classroom after a long break, I had to do a few things to get me prepared. Here are a few tips and suggestions on how to hop right back onto the saddle and prepare yourself for a successful school year ahead. Tip number one is to prepare your environment. What do I mean by this? Think about all the spaces and environments that you're going to be in once school starts. Maybe it's your home office, your bedroom, or your dining room. So you need to think about clearing out those rooms and even prepare a little corner for yourself. Having a designated space for you to study, read, review, and get into a mental mindset is so important and will help you develop a good study routine. So if you have to invest in buying a practical desk or setting up some lighting or buying a comfortable office chair, or a printer or a bookshelf, maybe even a pair of headphones to drown out any background noise, I would suggest doing that. Prepare your environment so that you don't have to be thinking about creating a space last minute for you to study. And as much as possible, try not to set up your study space on your bed. I know it can seem like a comfortable spot to study, but research tells us that this can be an unproductive way to study because most people associate their bed with sleep, obviously. Instead, if you can organize and set up a place in your home that is designated for you, uh, like your home office or a little corner or a little nook, um, if not, then the library or another public study area may work. Tip number two, prepare your mind. Mental preparation before you begin anything, whether it's a new job, the start of a school year, or an important presentation, is something that a lot of students don't really spend a lot of time thinking about. Now for me, mental preparation was something I learned through sports. Before I would play a basketball game when I was on the varsity team, I would go through my own mental preparation and routines before stepping onto the court and performing. I would imagine myself shooting a free throw or making a shot. I would constantly rehearse in my own head, my own mantra, my own positive self-talk. Like, I got this. I'm equipped to do this. This is going to be hard work, but I'm going to get through this. I've even gone as far as sticking reminders on my laptop or on my bathroom mirror, even on my screensaver on my phone. So I'm constantly reminded of what I'm capable of. And I stay encouraged even during those tough moments. I think it's extremely beneficial to mentally prepare yourself for what is about to come, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Because let's face it, nursing school can get ugly at times. Tip number three, prepare your body. Just as preparing your mind is important before starting another school year, preparing your body is just as important. The two go hand in hand. Now, I'm not suggesting you have to be able to run a marathon here. I'm simply suggesting things that you can do to prepare your body for those early morning classes and long days. Things like getting into a new sleep routine where you might head to bed an hour earlier, taking some extra vitamins to keep your energy level and immune system up, or you might even go get a haircut or treat yourself for a much needed facial if that's your thing. You can even make a trip to the grocery store beforehand and make sure you have some healthy on-the-go snacks to keep on hand in your backpack and, and keep you fueled during those long days when you're in back-to-back -back classes. The main point here is to prepare your body so you're prepared, rested, and ready to conquer another academic year. Tip number four, get organized. 
Finally, if there is one skill that will get you through any year of a nursing program or any program for that matter, it's organization. Now, of course, you can probably get away with winging it for a while, but over time, it will catch up to you and you'll be completely overwhelmed if you haven't mastered the skill of organization. So how do you get organized before a school year begins? For starters, you need to organize your time and begin to anticipate what the weeks ahead will look like as you juggle school, maybe part-time work, family, your social life, and any other obligations. For example, if you know you're going to be ending your day late, perhaps you want to prepare your meals ahead of time. Or let's say you work a part-time job. Maybe you have to speak with your supervisor and let them know you'll only be available on days you're off school. Trust me, the better you can become at organizing and managing your time well, the more success you will have in nursing school. So keep track of your time, use a planner, create to-do lists or calendars so you can track how each hour of your day is being spent and where you need to be. There are a ton of phone apps to help with this. Google Calendar, To-Do List, Calendly, My Study Life, or even Microsoft To-Do. There are a ton out there, so it's just about finding one that works for you. Once you do find the one that you like, make sure you block out times in your calendar for class time, study time, travel time, family time, and even downtime to exercise and just chill out. Back to school is more than just doing back to school shopping. Although shopping may be fun and exciting, it's also just as important to prepare your environment, prepare your mind, prepare your body, and get organized. From a seasoned professor, I can tell you from experience that simply just showing up to your first day of nursing school and doing no prep at all is not always the best recipe for success. Just as any athlete prepares for an event or an artist prepares for a performance, I think students also need to do some preparation before beginning their journey. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on the JLT channel today. I promise I've got more good content for you like this video over here. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and even share this video with a friend because it's just like that. <laughs>